I approach the monolith. I am engulfed in its terrible truth. I see its words in the text of a thousand tongues, in the ephemera of countless stars. I don't think we're really here to submit. Let's just witness. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas, where Herc had heard nothing. I witness events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it of the universe. In their rage, in their impotent jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain, and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said. That my end would be an awakening, that in this dream nothing should perish. Now I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends, I see a vision of something I have not seen before, of something that does not belong in this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler. So it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of Nal. I see the end of time, the end of all things. And in that crimson light, there is a figure, its hand held out before eternity. I see all of this and then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show me. I leave the monolith shaken by my experience. As I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching. But when I turn, it is gone. Well, that's, uh, that's certainly not what I was expecting uh, to hear from this particular monolith. That's pretty intense. Okay. So I think what we're going to do here, that was a legitimate, like, 13-minute drive out here, boosting, jumping, the, the whole nine yards. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to summon my, my ship to come out here and get me. And uh, we'll fly on back to the main base and I'll just, you know, summon the Exocraft. I think I can do that, right? If I summon vehicles. Yeah, I can summon the Exocraft uh, back to me once we get back to the base. So let's do that. Make it a nice, uh, quick trip home. So welcome on back to another No Man's Sky, the Waypoint Update episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the new update. I'd love to hear from you guys about things you like about the update, things you don't like. Um, I really do enjoy the inventory change. I think it's, it's much clearer to me as someone who has not spent a ton of time in this game since launch. Um, and seeing those three tabs now condensed to just the one tab. It's very clear what goes in technology. It's very clear what goes in cargo. I've been doing some reading on Reddit and I can understand how a lot of the technology stacking benefits of the old inventory system are gone now. And that is unfortunate, um, but it also maybe does sound a little bit unintended as well. So I'm glad that they, you know, took the time to um, clear that up. I'm not sure why I'm not landing. Maybe we'll do another pass. Okay, we're gonna land this time. Fair enough. 
But yeah, I'm really enjoying the update. Um, I was enjoying the endurance update as well. I know I'm just kind of going through the beginning parts in the story, but overall, I mean, I, I, I think the, the update put the game in another good spot. Um, what I think I would still really like to see from this game is just the consistency between all the different quest lines um, that are happening. So if I choose to do quests from, say, the NPCs, or if I choose to do quests through the main story, or if I do them through the um, computer archives, you know, no matter, uh, no matter what. Oh. Well, that's a cool side effect. Sure, we'll take it. Anyways, <laughs> I would really like to see some more consistency so that when a quest awards you with a blueprint, especially if it's something like introducing you to your ship or your your exosuit or the exocraft or your multi-tool for the first time that you don't have a chance to get duplicates just some consistency there would be would be great i envy you traveler to see the words of now themself gra with this discovery you have vindicated the actions of a thousand martyrs traveler you deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon our enemies. The Viking believed that their ancestor Herc received wisdom from a great monolith, initiating a war against the Sentinels and slaying Nal the Objector. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision whilst Herc had been met with only silence and in their jealousy, Herc murdered Nal. Yet, I am still left with questions. I am left thinking of the creature I felt watching me. I am left with dread. The Colossus should make me feel better. Right. That thing does look colossal. I have transmitted Nal's testament to my brethren, Traveler. What you have learned this day will spread amongst the Viking. It will change our people for the better. Gra. And if violence is required for change, so be it. As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer interloper. You are one of us, now until the end of time itself enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. Yeah, he, he, he sounds pretty excited about it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're going to build it. The Colossus is a fine craft. They say Herc and Nal rode one together before their end. Uh-huh. Well, they also said that, you know, Herc was the good guy, and they weren't right, so... Can't really trust him, can we? Now, what is this going to require? Five metal plating, four ion batteries, and 100 paraffinium. So let's go ahead and pin the details here. Right, and let's start with the metal plating. One, two, three, four, five. Right, and we're going to need cobalt, and I believe it's ferrite dust for the ion battery. Right, so we'll need 50 cobalt. So I think it said we need five, right? No, four. So we need 40 cobalt. That should let us craft the ion battery. Two, three, four. And now we need the 100 paraffinium. running a little low on that might have to go get some more here soon i did see that you could refine it though so we might have to take a look at what would allow us to do that now this colossus i mean is it really that much bigger the pad doesn't feel that much bigger all right so kind of plop this guy i really don't have a good system for these exocrafts maybe i need to build like a gigantic garage <laughs> to, to house these things in let me know let me know what you want to see there should i should i be building a, a, a parking garage for all of my exocraft 
Sure, let's plot this guy down. Holy Toledo. Look at the size of this thing. How do you even get in here? I mean, I know you hold down the F key, but really, how do you get in here? Goodness gracious. Yeah, and of course, it comes with no technology like before, and that's fine. We would just have to... Wow, but look at all the cargo spots. That's nuts. So we would just have to move all the technology over if this is what we wanted to drive. Ooh, I'm inside of it. Woohoo! All right, let's pop back in just to switch it back to being the primary. Yep. Very cool. And now we should be able to talk to Yamei. Some of you may still be wondering when I'm going to get back to the main story, and I really do want to get back to that uh, rather quickly. Um, these quests have just been so quick to complete. I feel like it makes sense just to knock a bunch of them out, and uh, and then we can focus on, on the main story. Have you constructed the Colossus Geobay? Have you struck terror into the hearts of all those who oppose you? Uh, construction, yes. Terror, hmm. Questionable. Gra. A careful answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed in life, traveler. You will subjugate this world with the power of the Colossus. Here's an Exocraft vehicle laser upgrade to assist with the task. Ooh, the advanced laser. Awesome. I'm a fan. Gonna need a little more chromatic metal and some pugnium. Very cool. I have almost exhausted the limits of my work, but soon you you shall have the mastery of this planet's signals and the speed with which to reach any threat. I require only sufficient nanite clusters to build the final blueprints. Gra, this employment has been one of glory. Yeah, well, we do have plenty of nanite clusters. Though something is wrong. Some time ago, I saw the Viking with an image of their family before they performed some ritual to erase such attachments from their mind. As I approach now, I see that same image. The technician stares at it, blinking for a few moments with an empty expression. When they notice me, they remove the photograph from the display. We do not speak of it again. I do not wish to awaken their pain. They desire only nanite clusters, not my sympathy. As I said before, be careful in those abandoned buildings, traveler. Do not lose yourself in the hunt. Yeah, nope. Don't have to worry about that one, man. Surprisingly, I've already been to it. Just kidding. Just kidding. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, let's install this advanced mining laser. Right, Pugnium and Chromatic Metal. Split. I can't remember, was it 50? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, 50. And then we only need two more Chromatic Metal, but we might as well just refine up a, a good chunk of it since we're constantly needing this I really should take some time aside just to smelt up a huge ton Let's go ahead and grab a quick save as well it seems like when you exit out of your ship you get a save but it doesn't seem like it's saving when you exit out of an exocraft which is interesting All right, now the advanced laser is installed. And let's talk to Yamei. Do you have the nanite clusters? Give them to me, please. Oh yeah, I got them. The technician's hands shake 
It is then that I notice the blueprint is already waiting on the technician's terminal. They require these nanite clusters for some alternative purpose. They are desperate for the substance, refusing to hand over the blueprints without them. Mm-hmm. The Viking takes them greedily, turning to imbibe them. Whatever effect this matter has upon the alien, it appears to calm their movements considerably. Sated, they offer me the blueprints. Yeah, radar power resonator? As for additional building types to be acquired. Okay, that does make sense. The nanite clusters. Their purpose is commonly misunderstood. They form the backbone of much technology, but they are not just machines. They can alter hearts, alter minds, even allow us to forget that which we cannot bear. The technician has a final reward, an acceleration module upgrade from my Nomad Exocraft, once I have constructed its geobay. Good. Let me know in the Nemad. <laughs> Nemad? That was reading two words at once. Nomad Geobay is built. Gra. I cannot wait to witness its glory. Now, we already built that Geobay. So it's just going to ask, ask. Yeah. Right, we're just going to return again. The the quest for this Exocraft guy have been a little bit on the on the strange side. Okay, we're going to need more ion batteries. We're going to need gold and wouldn't you know it, more chromatic metal. Right. So let's go ahead and finish installing this. Very cool. Mining laser power and advanced exocraft mining laser. Yep. So now we should, I think the only thing that we can't get now with this um, exocraft at this point is the terrain manipulator. So we would have to get out to grab things like gold or salt or paraffinium, those kinds of things. But everything else looks like we can get with the exocraft now. Our work is almost concluded. But every end is a beginning. I am too weak to travel as I once did, too tired to continue my pilgrimage. With your leave, I shall remain here to stand by your side against your enemies. Gra, woe betide those who would transgress against us. The technician offers me the final acceleration module upgrade. It has been a pleasure working with you, traveler. Return when you are ready. I have a proposition for you. A lucrative and repeatable venture. Interesting. Traveler, I have detected a location of monetary interest. Go, that you may hone your control of the exocraft. Track the signal down before it disappears so that we may siphon its units. Technician has hacked a terminal to siphon its units. If I get to the location fast enough, I will be able to transfer the units to my account. They spend their days doing this now, tending to the exocraft and drawing data from interplanetary networks. Sometimes I see them walking out onto the planet itself to explore, but such times are rare. The technician is content with this retirement, engaging in fugitive activity for the pleasure of the Jace, no longer for the necessity of survival. It is a game we can repeat. One last heist after one last heist. Well, look, that seems really cool. It seems like it's repeatable, so we should be able to pick this up whenever we want. I don't want to do it now, though. So thanks, but no thanks. Gra, I do not know why I bother you. It's fine, man. Don't take it personal, you know, gra and all that. T.Y. T.Y. And let's see, right, the boost module. Let's go ahead and get that installed. We'll put that up here and that gives us boost power again. Very cool. Well, that was awesome to finish up the quests with this guy. And I know it's it's gonna keep telling me that, hey, you know, we can return to him. And I'm sure that's for that repeatable 
option and uh, we're not worried about that right now what we are going to do is go ahead and talk to nada we need to tell nada what's going on with null's plans now it's been a little bit since we did this but look we need to figure out what's going on with this particular universe this like timeline right because of all the anomalies and strange shifts that are happening so no wants to talk to a viking cartographer in order to try and get that data and i would like to talk to nada so that they know what's going on because as much as i don't trust no how do i want to say this no i do not trust no and i want to talk to nada about it first so i can get any kind of warnings that i need so let's pop up to the space station in the current system we'll head over to the anomaly and talk to nada okay nada let me tell you about this crazy thing that Null still wants to do. Viking entities have a long history. Oh, uh, hi. Um, no thanks. Oh, that's kind of weird. That interrupted that. Mm, I kind of wish that that wasn't a thing. Nada waits as if expecting me to ask something else. Um, can we ask about the Viking? Viking hate the Gek. Hate the Sentinels. Sentinels hate our home. Gek hate Corvax. Nada should be friends with Viking, yes? Uh, that does seem to make sense. No, Nada does not think in this way. How did I know you were going to say that? Okay, well, that didn't really um, help us, did it? We did get some Quicksilver. That's kind of nice. But I think it's time that we locate a Viking system and uh, speak to this Viking cartographer. Oh, so he's just one of the merchant guys here. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, I think we tried to exchange some navigational data to someone like this before. All right. Unknown Viking. Yep, that about sums up what I understood from this conversation. Probe Viking lore. As the warrior begins their bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of Null's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly, the Viking's words ring clear in my ears. Gra, pathetic interloper, prying into Viking secrets, cowardly spy. I should kill Gra. Um, no, please. No thanks. But traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Hmm. You mean Nal? Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. Man, if only you had read the latest transmission from Yamei. I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Can I almost said continue. Commune with their words. Gra. Mm-hmm. So now I need to collect a Viking Hi! Collect a Viking artifact from an ancient ruin. Cartographer has marked its approximate location. Collect the artifact to prove your honor. Right. And this is off planet. Well, look at that ship. That's crazy. 
some of the ship designs in this game are really unique. I really would like to think about getting a different ship at some point. But I almost wonder if that's going to mess with the story or if the story is going to do that for us. Not sure. But we got a new multi-tool. feel like a new ship is almost in order. Right. But in the meantime, let's pop over to get this reliquary. So as usual, we are coming up on the approximate location. Do we see anything kind of close? Not really. Oh, wait, maybe this is it here? Yeah. I bet this is it. Let's go ahead and land over here. Hope we're right. So what words are we going to hear from this Herc, do you think? <laughs> 